Good evening, people. How are we doing today? What day is it? It's a Sunday. Happy Sunday, people. How's your Sunday going? Yo, thank you, Cena, for hot for the 19 months, buddy. Thank you, thank you. Hello, people. How are we doing today? Woke up. Leon is streaming. I screamed. That's how it's going so far. I hope that scream is the good kind. Yo, Stefano. Good, good. How are you guys doing? Welcome. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. So, if, if the estimates are correct, then this stream might be shorter than the last one. Because, um, from what I heard, you need like 17 hours to get 100%. And we're 6 hours in, in one campaign. So, what I'm thinking right now is if we beat the game in like 2-3 to three hours, I might stop the stream and start a new one. Um... I don't know if I should talk about what's what I'm thinking for the second stream just yet, but um, I am thinking of something, so we'll see about that. But until then, we're going to be alone in the dark. Yo, Erica. Yo, Magician. Yo, John. Everybody. Welcome. Welcome, guys. Welcome. Um, okay, let me just launch the game already. Alone in the dark. Yo, pineapple. Texas! How's Texas today? Oh, the main menu changes, kinda. Okay, people. Alone in the dark. Um, <clears throat> last time we played this, we made it to chapter 4. Uh, played about six hours, and yeah, we made some good progress. I don't know how much I have left, but um, if what people are saying is true, then there's not too much left, but we'll see about that. Okay. Never played this game. Oh, don't worry about it. What the? Is that... I thought the statue was doing something. Okay, uh, I think last time we played, we came back from the ship, right? We were in a ship hallucination, and now we're here. Uh, whoops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, is it just me, or is the game darker than yesterday? Huh. But I think we examined this room already. Um, hold on, let me check my key items. We have the dagger. Okay, basically nothing new. I guess we gotta walk somewhere. Ooh, it's night time. Anyone watching WrestleMania after the stream is over? Um, I don't know. Is anyone watching that? I used to be invested into uh, WWE when I was a kid. Not so much anymore, though. My favorite wrestler was... Stone Cold Steve Austin. McCarthy has something hidden inside. Nothing new here. Is 
Is this how chat looks like when I do something cool on the stream? You can be honest. Are you more like this guy? Or this guy? I think I'm more of uh, this guy, if I had to say. <clears throat> oh wait, this is open now. This is my room. Wait, what? I belong here. You okay, buddy? Guy too. <laughs> Ashes of indigo. Okay. For better knowledge. Okay, I might read all of this stuff um, in my I own free time later. Because I don't think... I know the combination. I carry it with me. Wait, do we? I don't think all that uh, reading is good for the stream. Why does it sound so hypnotized? Uh, like, out of nowhere. You should come. I can't believe I didn't recognize you. 196 LA. Is any of this real? Is this the combination? 196. Um. One. No. No. One. Nine. No. Okay, maybe. This is a stretch, but. One. Nine. No. Our expressions are wider like this. Plink. God, I love the plink so much. <laughs> My spirit animal. Yeah, the, the lightning in this room is pretty. I like it. There were a lot of gorgeous uh, sceneries yesterday. Okay, hold on. Maybe it's that one note. Uh, where was it? Nine one three maybe again. Nine one three or nine one three nine one three nine one nine nine one wait 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 do i have the code for this There should be a left, right, given with the numbers. That's how the first one was. Yeah. Though I remember the last one, this one. Uh, you can't see the number because it's behind my goddamn camera. But 913, I had to figure out the, uh, uh, the, the order of this one. So, hold on. That combination was for the clerk's office. Me trying to... Trying out a recombination to get into the cookie jar. Relatable. So true, bestie. Hold on. It probably is this, but... I know that number. Where's that from? I did this. I wrote that. Did you? One. One. Nine. 
Maybe we need to look around more. Like, this could be a case where the character says the line that he's supposed to say, but we don't have the thing yet. One... Nine... I think I tried out every combination possible. Let me look around a little bit. Mm. Oh, there's ammo in there. This was unlocked before, I don't think. Hmm, hold on. I'm pretty sure I checked all the numbers, but... Oh, maybe it's 692? Because, like, that's one part of his own uh, number. Six nine two. That's my guess, at least. We can try. Or maybe I'm really reaching. Six, nine, two. Six, nine, two. Six, nine. We're big brain in a little bit. An old coin from the time where Louisiana was a Spanish colony. Detective Carnby. Detective, I have made many discoveries in my case. The child we want is safe, thanks to good people like me and you. We are so similar, but you don't see all the things I do. To find your man, Jeremy, you also need to look for the girl. It has always been that way. The young deliver us all. You should have a look in my room. There's a piece of the puzzle you will need. Take care now. My coffee. My coffee. How long have I been here? That's a good question. So wait, McCarthy's room, that would be... Oh, just over here. I was gonna say, his name makes me think of coffee. And now I want coffee. <laughs> God damn it. Looks like McCarthy has something hidden inside. There we go. The old coin trick. The missing picture. What the hell is that? Is that gonna be the final boss? Why would McCarthy lock this up? Was he trying to keep Grace from completing the shame? If so, couldn't she have just made another drawing? Maybe now we need to go to Grace's room? Uh, what is that? Wait, where was that again? Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, now we can assemble the picture. Hold on, so we need to go upstairs. But to go upstairs, we need to... We might need to go through the grand parlor. What the... Wait, what? Okay. For a second I was like, wait, can I co go through it? But no, you just kind of stop here. Okay, let's not mess with that. Okay, things are looking different here too. What the hell happened in here? Another hallucination time, probably. <laughs> hey, buddy. Yeah. 
I was trying to remember the controls because I kind of forgot them. <laughs> okay, we're good. Why does it sound like they're still... Oh. Yo, Andy, how you doing, buddy? I'm full in shotgun shells. Wait, 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 wait. Bruh. Dude. <laughs> oh, no. Dude, I can't... I can't see. We are truly alone in the dark right now. I wanted to get my shovel back, but I don't think I can get it. Oh, no. Okay, we can't go there. Okay. Let me have a drink. Alone in the dark, featuring birds and things, yeah. <laughs> Wait, the shovel. What? What is this? I can't interact with it. Like, I pressed E once here and I got to the hatchet. And now the shovel is gone. I guess we can keep it. There's a lot of melee weapons up here. I can't go out there. Did I miss something? Hold on. I forgot that I had a flashlight. I just remembered. And I'm like, man, <laughs> it's dark. What should I what should I ever do? Oh, I'll get screwed, I guess. Why not? Uh, oh, that's what this is. Okay. And I also remembered that you can break stuff. I'm a genius, I know. No need to tell me that. Yo, welcome, buddy. Uh, what are we doing now? Searching for pills? Uh, no. Well, we're trying to, uh... Actually, I'm not sure how to put it myself. Oh, yeah, we're trying to put the drawing here. I miss horror games now. Play Resident Evil Zero and Revelations. I like Revelations, but I don't really like Zero that much. Um.
which one do we have? Oh, this one probably. Eyes of a moment, yeah. <laughs> to be honest, I'm not sure myself. Really hope we get Alone in the Dark 2 and 3 remakes. I do wonder how they're going to proceed with this now. Because I think pretty much every Alone in the Dark game is, is some kind of like soft reboot. Mm. Maybe this one is the wrong one. Actually, hold on. No, I think that's not right. <clears throat> hmm. I don't know, it kind of looks white to me, but... The only one that looks kind of off to me is the top one, like top middle, but... There we go. Sick. Huh? What? Wait, where was that again? Okay, thank you for opening the door, ghost. Wait, this looks different again. This looks familiar. How am I back at the office? That's me. Isn't it? How long have it been since I drowned myself in drink and depression? And it all felt so peaceful, slipping away into oblivion. A welcoming, dark voice wrapped around my mind like a heavy blanket. It turned off suddenly as I woke up from the sound of my office door closing shut. A messenger had left a telegram from Mrs. Saunders. She had a lead on where to find her husband and her kidnapped daughter. Okay, cool effect. Writing desk key. Okay. God, I used to drink so much back then. When was this exactly? What case was I working? Casey Jones. Wait. Nancy Smith. Earl Bruno. Champions for the second time. Mysterious sightings. Telegram. My husband has returned to steal one of our most valuable paintings. I'm sure he means to sell it. If you hurry, I'm sure you can track him down. Gabriella Saunders. Newspaper clippings. Philanthropist Teddy Saunders goes mad, kidnaps child. Huh. We need one more thing. Hmm. 
Hmm. Maybe outside, I guess. I think I need to figure out where I'm going first. I can't see anything I can pick up here. Let's try back. Oh, we can't go back. Maybe there's something in this room then. No, I guess not. Oh, okay. See, that's the kind of thing they don't need to add, but they did. Which is interesting. Oh, there was something else. Okay. Okay, this should be it then. Miss Saunders says her husband has stolen a painting. He means to sell it. So wait. Turn over. Check out Thornhill. I remember this case. Some kid got taken by her father, headed out of state, but he had made a mistake by selling a painting that his wife actually cared about to a collector named Thornhill to fund his venture. That's how I tracked him down. At least I think so. Okay. Yo, Jade, how you doing? What do you think of the kombucha? I still have one, actually. What is that thread doing? You know what this reminds me of? There's one episode of Tom and Jerry, I'm pretty sure, where I don't remember who does it, probably Jerry. He wraps the whole freaking house with these. And then Tom like steps on like on one uh thread, and boom, the house comes down crashing. Or something like that anyway. There's a lot of stuff in here. It's like... Odd, but pretty good. Yeah, it's kind of bitter, but uh, the good kind of bitter. I like it. Yeah, Arena, how you doing? Look at that. can't be squeaky clean. Jerry was the original prankster for content. He truly was. Now that's content as well, if you know what I mean. Ammo in a cash register? Okay. Saunders had sold a valuable painting to Thornhill, hoping the money would carry him to wherever he was going. The painting, now leaning on an easel in Thornhill's bedroom, had a certain mesmerizing gloom that seemed to call out to me, telling me I was needed for something important. I felt myself falling into the painting, only being brought back by Thornhill, thrusting an address to a Hotel St. George into my hand, and asking me to get the hell out. I don't remember this at all, but I can't say it didn't happen. Oh. 
Whoa! God damn. Okay. Oh, don't worry about it, Steph. <laughs> yeah, the game has a lot of... Uh, good atmosphere, basically. I think my favorite has to be the... Uh, the desert level. Like, man. Looking at the eclipse as well. Beautiful. Are we gonna try to sneak again? Didn't go well last time. I wonder if light matters when it comes to sneaking. Okay, so far so good. Uh-oh. I wonder where I'm supposed to go. There, maybe? Uh-oh. I'll try to circle around from here. Oh no! At the last second. <laughs> I was just gonna say sneaking actually worked for once. Can't go that way. Candlestick. That's a new weapon. Dude, what's up with these? They're everywhere. I swear to god, they are tied to some kind of secret and I just don't know it yet. Hotel St. George. Look at that place. Made me think of the RE3 clock tower. If this is... I mean, this is a clock tower, isn't it? God, it's so fucking hilarious how... Almost every game... Um, like... Well, not almost every game, but a lot of horror games... In the past few years... Had some kind of clock tower. And RE3 Remake doesn't. Uh-oh. Drunk driving? On my way to the hotel, the Morton gang caught up with me. I owed them money. A lot of it. I can't remember what for. Probably some dumb gambling debt growing in size for each payment missed. I punched one of them out, and I sent the others packing. It was a stupid thing. They'd be back. I see company over there. Hey, buddy. Oh, whoops. 
Dude. No, oh, no, no. That's a wall. I can't go over there. God damn it. Okay, hold on. There we go. Oh, I thought that was a Molotov. It wasn't. This is a Molotov. Okay, that's a heal. Let me get that. Hey, buddy. Okay. I wonder how hard mode is like. I'm assuming like... It's going to be the kind of thing where you have to basically try and dodge most enemies. Especially if they're, like, tankier. Another bill. Yeah, the burn effect reminds me of the one from Resident Evil 4 Remake. Curious Napkin. Okay, wait, that one is gonna unlock a secret objective, interestingly enough. Where is it? There we go. That's a new thing. Forbi like, most of them are forbidden knowledge. Actually, maybe not. There's quite a few... Um, secret objective ones. Another bell. I should use the machine gun. And the shotgun. Hotel bill. Okay. I found him. Yo, well, Brendan, hope you're doing well, buddy. The handwriting the signature. Ted Yo, Frosty. It, it is the spookiest stream of all, he yes. We are in the dark, after all. Does this game have a story mode? This is the story mode. Something about that name, Ted Stryker, rings a bell. Feels vaguely familiar. Any Ted Strikers in the chat? Yeah, I didn't want to say we're alone in the dark again, because I dropped a joke about that like three times already. I recognize this business card. But I didn't catch up with them here. I must have followed them. But where? Wait. Telephone directory. Okay. So close to 100k subs, yeah. Move document, oh. $350 for the Kingsport painting. The what? Con contact Mrs. Rob Robin. Okay. That's right. He was running away, ditching his old life and marriage in New Orleans to find something better in Tallahassee. Yeah, regardless, I don't. Daughter with him against the will of the mother. That's why she hired me. But I stopped him. I caught up with him at the Pearl River Bridge. Pearl River. Ooh. This is where I caught up. This is what the dark man wanted me to revisit. But I'm still not seeing it. What am I forgetting? Wait, hold on. Anything in here? I guess not. Okay. Okay.
plinkers in chat. <laughs> Classic. I think $350 in 1930s is about $6,000 now. Damn. Inflation, am I right? Guys, please, stop looking at me like that. Or else. Hmm, branching paths. This game sure loves that. Machine gun full. Oh no. Oh, not this again. <laughs> Please, get out. I could just load the last save, but last time I tried, I did break free from this. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Uh. Okay, when you open a box, you don't want to... You don't want to be inside it. Pearl River. Keep that in mind. This is where I caught up with them. This is what the Dark Man wanted me to revisit. But I'm still not seeing it. What am I forgetting? I don't know. What is he forgetting? Blink in the dark. <laughs> and it's a dark blink too. Perfect. Guys, when was the last time you blinked in the dark? Okay. Full. Profane totem. Ooh, secret objective. Uh... Got him. Right now. <laughs> okay. Last night. Alone in the Dark has their own version of chest mimics now. I know, right? And what a version it is. Yo, JLT, thank you for the two months, buddy. Thank you, thank you. Hope you're doing well, sir. There's a lot of detours. Oh, wait, this is a... Yeah, it took me back where I was. My glass is broken, now I gotta wait two to three weeks for a new pair. No, I'm sorry to hear about that. Oh no. It was her all along. I need to get new glasses myself. Is she gonna turn out to be some kind of like I Evelyn? For this game, well, like from RE7. Back then, I suppose. And is any of this real? How do you mean? This day just. So much is happening. I can't. I think I've lost my head. <laughs> do you need me to apologize? I mean. I am sorry. I don't think I need to begin to explain. You, you're just a kid, Grace. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean for it to happen. Lies. More lies. No, really. 
I thought I was being a good guy by handing you over to your mother. I didn't know. I, I couldn't have known that she wouldn't care about you. I don't know how this works. What is this for? Some form of admission of guilt. Maybe acceptance. It's what the dark man wants. I guess we just watch my father die again, then. You think he's alive? I know he is. He's down there, scared that he won't be able to get out. That he will drown with his daughter again. What are you saying? We gotta save him! We? Do it yourself. I'm down there with him, remember? Can I really save them? This all happened so long ago. I have to find a way to get down there. How long do you usually to wait to get new ones? Eyes. I tend to wait two, three years. There was a boat at the house where I entered. If I can raise the bridge, I should be able to get to the car. Three years, or if they ever start being weird to look through again. Okay, this is going to be embarrassing, but... Uh, <laughs> six years, maybe, which is way too long. Honestly, maybe even more. Um, I don't know. I just feel too lazy to get new ones uh, very often. There must be a way to save you both, right? Why else would I be here? Maybe the Dark Man just likes it when you suffer. Okay. I can't go that way. As long as your side doesn't get worse or you don't break the glass. And you just replace the frames every so often. Yeah. I really do need to get like a completely new pair though. That's for sure. It's been way too long. Uh Yeah, Roxy. Game, you were being so good earlier, come on. This is twice in the same level now. Oh, there we go, there we go, sick. I switched my frames. Uh... Oh, nice, Roxy. Yeah, Edward was being silly again. This must be where the bridge is operated. Nothing's happening. It's like something's holding it back. What's holding it back? Uh oh. Hitting the Okay. Is that a snake? Maybe it's uh Cthulhu. <laughs> Yeah. 
Ow! Here we go. I should be able to hide the place. Okay, all good. I think. Maybe not. Dude, where are the... Okay, maybe it's just sounds. Two weeks ago, my laptop's motherboard was compromised, so this past two weeks have been boring. I hope they get it done by coming Thursday. Yeah, fingers crossed. Game any good, Leon? Uh, it's pretty... it's pretty funny, huh? Like, if I were to give it a score right now, it might be like an 8 or 8.5. My only problem is just, like, minor bugs with the game, really. Other than that, though... It's a really good game. Where did she go? I hope she didn't jump. Wait, is this? Okay, that's where I came from. Was that? Oh, these things. Well, I'm gonna guess if there are monsters here, then I'm going to the right place. I think this is where I started. Okay, okay. Who the hell put the leapers from Dead Space in this? I don't know if I've seen those. Is this an FMV? Or maybe not. I didn't play Halo Infinite, no. Okay, no, this is not an FMV. Emily's there too. Oh no, where's the hat? Where's oh there it is. Oh my god, Carnby. Are you okay? <laughs> Don't leave me alone. <laughs> what the hell have you been doing? What's going on here? Look at this mess! I, I, I'm sorry, Mrs. Thompson. Don't make me kick you out of this house. Now get out! <sighs> I swear to God, every time Emily finds him, again, it's like... Detective. Mr. Carnby. They're in completely different worlds. I'm really worried about you. I'm okay. I just need to catch my breath for a moment. <sighs> this place? It's... What was that? <laughs> there are some very disturbed figures around here. And I don't think it's just the patients. I've been reading some things about how Dorsetto has a deranging effect on people. I think it might explain... things. What? Just take it easy, okay? I'm gonna go find a way into Dr. Gray's apartment. I wanna know what he's hiding. Emily? Don't worry. 
I think I'm close. I'm gonna set everything right. Just be careful. I stole the child and let him drown. Achievement unlocked. Own up to your own past or something. Don't mind me asking... Do you have a GPS or anything in the accessibility menu? No? I don't. Yeah, exactly, mate. She <laughs> Whenever they interact, she finds him like... Fucking... Beat up as hell. It's funny. Again, it makes me wonder how her campaign is gonna be like. Uh, where do we need to go now? Maybe her room again? Yo, White Wolf, how you doing? Um. Calm. So wait, that would be... <sighs> Let me check again. A job to do. I mean, do you? Huh. Okay. I guess I gotta go back uh, to that hallway then. What does the say somewhere in the background? Which Edward Carnby is your favorite? Uh, I'm not familiar enough with the franchise to be able to answer, to be honest. But the one from the PS1 game looks like the edgiest and also the coolest. Yeah, I was talking about that bear too. About him coming to life. We just came out of a hallucination and I think we're hallucinating again. <laughs> oh. Detective, am I glad to see you? Lock the door, will you? I don't think Dr. Gray would appreciate us sniffing around. What's going on here? This feels so strange. Oh. Okay, fixed camera angle. Get what you want. There's a book missing. I did not expect this, not gonna lie. Have you found anything? What? Y yeah, uh, yeah, I've seen some things. Okay, let me know if there is anything you want to talk about. Who is the woman? Uh, she's the other playable character, and I'm pretty sure she came here to uh, find her uncle. You're helping her do that. It's a hollow book. Can you not, like, flip the objects? I guess not. What did you do? This might be a nod to the fixed camera angle in most PS1 horror games. Yeah, well, come definitely. On. Let's check it out. And I like it. It's cool. I, I love stuff like this. Also, goddamn, this game has the smoothest soundtrack sometimes. Toy talisman. Nice. 
Nice. I think I'm beginning to understand. Dr. Gray is dealing with some kind of mass delusion. Burn a tricky. Huh. Has that been there this whole time? This whole segment being fixed camera angle is pretty nice, not gonna lie. Like... What were you saying about mass delusion? Dorsetto seems to have a deranging effect on people living close by. It is a uh, Sun and Bone. No, I haven't seen that. Even the name Dorsetto refers to the cult existing here before the Civil War. Dorsetto was the name of an ancient fertility goddess worshipped in Syria. Dr. Gray and his friends, however, seem to prefer the black goat of the woods with a thousand young, or Shubnigroth. And that name can only have come from my uncle's twisted mind. Okay. Oh, that chank control's good. Uh, yeah, they're okay. I mean, there is gonna be a problem if there is combat with this, probably, but, uh... That mark on the floor looks like... It's pretty chill. Positions, but... From which direction should I look at? Pressed meeting transcript. Good to finally meet you, Mr. Hartwood. I'm here on the behalf of your brother Philip. Oh, you this is a long one. Sorry, chat. <laughs> what do we have here? The snake dagger. The snake dagger. In monograph. By Yael. Yeah, Syria mentioned. But yeah, the soundtrack of the game has been awesome. The soundtrack, the sound design in general, uh, the atmosphere, just beautiful. You think all of them are in this cult business? Even Jeremy? I'm not sure any of them have a choice at this point. We just need to find a way to stop all of this. Okay. Hello? It, it, it can't be. Who is this? Jeremy? Jeremy is with the dark man. You can't save him. Well, I've done everything he wanted so far, and there's just one more thing on the list. I expect him to keep his promise and return Jeremy unharmed. Get out, detective. While you still can. Investigate the broken clock. Oh, we have to do this again? Well, what are the numbers that we need? Did we get anything like that? Uh... Oh, this is two pages. No, no numbers here. Okay, I'm guessing we don't have the number yet, then. so busy trying to free your uncle from the promise he made to the dark man I guess I kind of just 
let everything else go. Don't worry, Detective. I feel like we're close. I'm sure Jeremy will turn up. If he is part of the cult, he wouldn't want to miss the Feast of St. John. I just need enough information to make him see the truth. I hope you're right, but I doubt he'll show up. Not as long as the Dark Man's got him hiding. Is there another conversation? I guess not. Oh, oh, this is the clue. Uh. Okay, how the hell do I decipher this one? Uh. Oh, nice, yes. Okay, so... I probably need to screen, uh, take a screenshot of this. Hold on. There we go. Paint. Do your job, buddy. There we go. Okay. Now... Yo, Alex? Okay, uh... Yeah, it's time to big brain and fail at it. Uh... Wait, how the hell do they make use of the symbols? I wonder if there's the same symbols from before, like... I don't know, they look different. Um... Okay, wait, maybe they are. Or aren't, rather. Uh... Wait, it wasn't that... I think I don't have that note anymore, so maybe it's uh, not it. Yeah, I didn't play Halo or Doom. Maybe it's about this. Uh, or maybe not. Maybe it's not about the numbers. Okay, and... Yeah, it's not about the numbers, okay. You just kind of have to replicate the same uh, shape. Oh, a secret behind the wardrobe. Who would have thought? You okay? You look a little frazzled. Just stupid telephone. I know. I tried calling the police earlier. The telephone is completely dead. It's not... Yeah, no, the telephone isn't working. What's going on with the window? That's not rain, is it? Like, whoa, holy, what the? Miss Hartwood, I think you're gonna <laughs> want to see this. Is there something in the closet? Something loaded in. Yeah, there is. You don't see the very obvious gate leading to whatever Jeremy's madness is serving up next? I don't understand. Are you making some kind of fashion metaphor? I'm sorry, I don't have time for this. Can you just tell me what you're doing? You don't see this. It's fine. It's fine. Catch you later. Are you going inside the closet? Yeah. You got a problem with that? <laughs> no. Do what you think is right, detective. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Goodbye, Miss Hartwood. 
Well, what what is what is she gonna see if he does that? You know. There has to be something, right? Guys, we're back to the dark again. And it's snowy this time. Frenzy. Enter hell. Uh-oh. That doesn't bode well. <laughs> Guys, I'm scared. Ice pick, okay. A flare gun. Okay. I guess we'll keep the flare gun. We found the ancient Stellar. No. Sallow offering. Okay. Hello? Anybody here? I wonder, do we use the... Hmm. Okay... Is this like Alan Wake? I haven't played one or two, by the way. So I have no idea. Uh, oh. Ooh, would you look at that. Now that is a view. I feel like I'm playing Skyrim. <laughs> and we're heading to Bleak Falls Barrow, baby. slow now. Alan Wake had a flare gun as a weapon. I see. I can't sprint anymore. Bro, look, it's the fucking... Uh, uh, what you call them? The, the Dwarven Ruins. Looks exactly like that kind of stuff. Hey, you! Hey, buddy. What are you doing here? What is this place? New Turn enemy? Back, detective. You're not wanted here. Whoa, take it easy. I'm not your enemy. Oh, you're wrong, detective. You're wrong. No, 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 no. Does the flare do anything to him? I'm gonna assume it does. Actually, just... Hey, buddy! Oh, oh shit. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey, buddy! Well, there it goes. Uh... 
whatever his name is. Okay, I thought he was gonna disappear or something. I think he did take damage, because, like, he died in two hits from the machine gun. Yo, Josh Spears. Welcome. <laughs> yeah, I'm... I was pretty interested in this game. So here I am, playing it. Okay, so what do we have? Actually, before we go up there, hold on. Ooh. Okay. Oh, that's a big one. Of course, the Taurus. Bruh. Okay, let me just check if there's anything else here. Yeah, the flares just made him warmer. <laughs> okay, uh... Are we supposed to do the same sh uh, thing? Oh, 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 oh. Never mind. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, wait, we're not done yet. There we go. You can speedrun on this game. Yeah, I've seen a speedrun that took like an hour from uh, one guy. So that's cool. Oh no. Whoa! <laughs> okay. Okay. That's a lot of machine gun ammo. Stab, stab, stab! Okay, Edward, so far so good. Get him! Oh, okay. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, the temple. Oh, the thing, the the bar, the the library. Back into the coffin. Save the hat, yeah. <laughs> Jeremy? Uh oh. We did a 
everything! Aren't you happy? Stupid charlatan. What more do you want from me? You want me to lose my mind? Oh, oh shit! No. Doctor! Baptiste! Quick! <laughs> So that's the twist, isn't it? We were just losing our minds. Ooh. Yeah, Bruno, it is Hopper, yeah. Oh, listen to that lovely track. We're in a wheelchair now? Edward got vibe checked. You awake? You are awake. Mr. Conby's up. Hey, buddy. I thought you'd be knocked out for the rest of the night. <laughs> Come on out and join us, will you? I'll save you some gumbo. Good to have you back. You gave us all a good scare. What happened? You had a psychological breakdown. Sorry for manhandling you, but you're being violent. You stabbed Jeremy and then punched Dr. Gray. Are they okay? Jeremy's a little strange, but everything's back to normal. He got stabbed really? through the eye, bro. All thanks to you, combat. You want to try standing up? Well, if it isn't the hero of the day. How are you feeling, Detective? Never better. How about you two? Hey, Jeremy, I didn't do too much damage, did I? Bro, you... <laughs> Things were fine. Very quiet. What's up with him? Painkillers? No. You see, despite you having the finesse of a one-eyed butcher, you managed to lobotomize, dear Jeremy. I did what? It's actually quite impressive. It's not like I hadn't considered it myself. I just wish Jeremy could have been helped without reducing his personality to that of an oyster. But he's gonna live. Of course. As long as someone keeps feeding him, he'll outlive the best of us. Break the pact with a dark man, okay. It's like that one movie where the guy thinks he's a detective, but is actually a psych patient. That sounds familiar. I might, have, I might have seen the movie you're talking about. I wouldn't know it by name, but yeah. Have you played Dino Crisis? I love Dino Crisis, yeah. One and two. Does Emily know about Jeremy? I haven't played three, but... Uh, yes. She seems to be handling it quite I know how cursed it is. Alright. Shutter Island. Mm. That is one impressive tree. More impressive than you could ever imagine. Okay. All right, tell me what the hell's about to happen here. Every year we have a little turn the page ceremony by the tree. It's symbolical. Symbol. It's like life has its cycles of grief and happiness. You know, just like a tree facing the seasons. Things change, but remain the same. Should they remake Dino Crisis? I mean, I. People would be happy about that, so why not? Assuming they don't, you know, mess it up. Hey, kid. What are you up to? Preparing for the ceremony. I don't want to disappoint Mother. Good to see you back on your feet, Detective. 
Have some gumbo. Thanks. I'll save it for later. You finished Alone in the Dark? You talking about the older games? No, I haven't. What are you looking for? Just keeping an eye out for the stone. Radio says it could be a wild one. Okay, I think we talked to everybody. Does she still want to take Jeremy away from Dorsetto? I will have to insist that you do. This is not that kind of institution. All right. Oh, wait. I didn't see her. Hey, Ruth. Glad to see you made it back to Dorsetto. You too, detective. Make sure to stay for the festivities. It's no Mardi Gras, but it ain't bad. Oh, okay. You seen Emily around? <laughs> I saw her packing some things into that old jalopy you arrived in about an hour ago. I'm sure she hasn't given up on you yet. Hmm. I don't think I can leave the place, at least not yet. You don't know where Emily is, do you? She's packing some of Jeremy's things. Said she wanted to take him away. I'm sure she'll come and get you when she's ready. Seems like everyone's in a pretty good mood. The Eve of St. John is the most important date of the whole year. So is this game all in La Head or not? Well, woods tends to her young. for this guy it seems that way. Or at least a lot of it is. I don't know about Emily though. We'll... I'll get to that when I do it. Everyone knows what to do? Y'all know the new world. Though I don't think I'm gonna Mrs. do that Thompson, on stream actually. talked about this. I'm not sure everyone is comfortable. Doctor, I insist. This is important. We've waited for so long, Doctor. Let's just go with the old song. Not every change is an improvement. Boss, good or bad, we need to move forward. All in, Doc. Let's bet it all. But we don't know what we're dealing with. It'll be okay, Doctor. Better even. Okay. Hell, are there praises in abundance to the black goat of the woods. Hear us, brother. Take pity on us. Take pity on us. Ever Hear there us, in abundance to the black goat of the woods. Hear us, brother. And take, take pity on us. Take pity on us. Whoa. Emily? Nice. <laughs> Jeremy, come here. No, that has to be another blood. Window. Jeremy, come on. <laughs> God damn. 
Boss fight? Bruh! <laughs> I can't let that monster leave their setup. I have to stop. Oh him. my god. <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> Nice legs. So... She looks okay. Wait, where do I need to go? Detective Combi returned just as the festivities were about to begin. Damn. Go home, your job here is done. True. <laughs> Oh, oh, there we go, there we go. Okay. Wait, hold on. Oh, I can't go down anymore. Who needs ammo anyway? Okay. Uh oh, Cthulhu. Whoa. The big cheese! Oh. oh, shit. Oh no. Chase! No interaction? Okay. Oh shit. Hey, buddy. Crucifix. No, 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 no.
<laughs> okay. Yeah, the music is going in. God damn. blow these things up. Are we doing it? Oh, the was text. So <laughs> Their devotion to the black boat was like nothing I've ever seen before. I felt so dumb believing any of it, but I'm glad I did. Yeah, there goes okay. that house. Everything is out of order. This isn't the way the story goes. I shouldn't be alive. Yeah. Oh, you're welcome. How are you doing, sweetie? I kinda like it. You ruined everything, but I'm not mad. Alright, you ready to head back to New Orleans? Come on, Jeremy. We're leaving. Was that a fourth wall breaking joke? Come? Maybe it is. I thought you said you didn't need saving. Don't leave her. She's important. Of course we're taking her with us. You could clip the shot and say it's Resident Evil 1 Remake and people will believe you. <laughs> Probably. Maybe. So Emily's playthrough next. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do that, actually. At least not on the stream. Because... Save New Orleans from the Black Goat. Well, ladies and gents, that is Alone in the Dark. At least one half of it. Um, what do we think of this game? Woo! 
Um. Okay. Now, first thing you're probably gonna ask, Leon. Whoa, listen to that, Leon. How much do you rate this game? Um, I think I still stand by like an eight, eight point five. I think that's good enough for it. My only issues are just you know like the minor bugs really, more than anything else. Um, the game is really fun. Uh, the story is pretty good. Uh, the atmosphere is amazing. Like, the best two things about this, in my opinion, are either... Well, the sound design is amazing. And the atmosphere, probably. The soundtrack is also really, really good. So, there's that going for it. Uh, it's... Yeah, it's, it's a fun game. If you're considering getting this, like, if you're just tuning in, for example, watching, uh, a little bit, and you're thinking about getting the game, I do recommend it. If you like horror games, uh, yeah, you might like this one. It's like a merge of a lot of games, like, you know, Resident Evil, Silent Hill, even, uh, classic Alone in the Dark, uh, and it has, like, this mix of, like, noir, mystery, the kind of themes. It's really fun, and it's really nice to play through. It's pretty chill for a horror game, and I actually kind of like that about it. Uh, this is that, that that is probably something that might turn off people, but I like that about it. It's just a very kind of relaxing horror game to put it in like one way. For the most part. Um. But yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna do. Um, Emily's part because. I don't know. I know a couple of you might want to see me continue this, but. I feel like something like Ace Attorney was doing way better, so maybe I'll go back to that. But, because the stream ended, or well, the game ended pretty soon after the start of the stream, we're gonna be doing something once the credits are over. I'm just kind of keeping them so uh, all the names get highlighted and appreciated. I think they were too trigger happy with the puzzles, but I haven't played the original, so that might be something the original did too. Yeah... I watched the playthrough of the PS1 game, and I think there were, like, puzzles like this, basically. Um, but yeah, like, th this game definitely is more of a puzzle game than a, you know, an, like a shooter game. But the shooting part is there, and I do... I did enjoy it. There is a little bit of difference, but mostly the same, except for the section that Carnby had. Really? I kind of expected for Emily's uh, have to be, like, a lot different. Especially given how she reacted to, like, every time he came back from the other world. I see. Yeah, the bear didn't come to life. Feels bad, man. Sad cat gem. <laughs> It's okay, guys. Maybe mods will, will fix that. Yeah, that, that's a good way to put this. The game uh, does everything it sets out to do. Perfect way to put it. Uh, Arabic localization? Okay. Muhammad Bedri. Ziyad Bedawi. Okay, Abdullah Al Hifni. Nice. Um. Yeah, what an experience this was. Okay, so... Before I hop back onto Ace Attorney, I was thinking of doing something Yakuza related. And I will do that in just a bit. Um, you will see what it's about. I wonder if there's a cutscene after the credits. I might stream for like one or two more hours. Not too, too long, but... Not Pikuza 3, you know, but you'll see. Pikuza. Mm. Actually, you know what? Okay, there's nothing, I guess. Yeah, well, that was a great game. Um, I enjoyed this. What's the verdict on this? 8.5. Very good horror game. Um, it focuses more on puzzles than shooting, but it's a, it's still a solid horror game. And I think anyone could enjoy this. It's not super, like, spooky, jump scare, in-your-face kind of horror game, which is a good thing. 
Uh, but yeah. If you like that kind of games, check this out. Anyway, um... So yeah, because the stream is too, like was pretty short, I'm gonna end this right now. We'll start a new stream in like five minutes, I'll take a small break. But yeah, um... Check it out. I'll see you guys in like five minutes then. Ciao! Bye-bye, guys.